In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add tabs to your Shopify product pages without the use of any apps or coding so that you can take your product pages from this to this. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, dropshipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. In order for this to work, you need to be using a 2.0 theme that supports the collapsible tab block. However, if you do not have a 2.0 theme, you can still add tabs to your product pages using a free app. We show you how to do it in this video. Okay, let's jump right in. First, click on online store. Then click customize on your 2.0 theme. I'm using Shopify's free theme, Dawn. Now click this drop down at the top and click products, default product. Under product information, click add block, then collapsible tab. Now it's important to note that we are editing a default product page. So whatever tabs you add here will be added to every single one of your product pages. So this is going to be ideal for one product stores, or if you do sell multiple different items, you could use this to display information that's going to be the same for every single product. So things like your terms and conditions or a mission statement for your brand. Unless you have a one product store, you wouldn't want to add things here that would vary from product to product, such as size information or ingredients lists. If you want to do that, no problem. There is a way to do that that will display different information for each product using meta fields. I did a video all about it that you can watch here. For this example, I'm going to pretend I have a one product store, so my tabs can be specific for this product since there's only one. Now here's my product description before. You can see it's quite long, there's a lot of text here, and left like this, it probably won't convert well. So I'm gonna tighten this up using tabs. Someone commented on one of our other tab videos asking which converts better, tabs or no tabs. What I would say to this is that it's all about how they are used. Tabs should be used to condense information of lesser importance, to leave room for and to draw attention to your most important information. So I'm going to change my first heading to specifications and then I'm going to copy the product specs and paste them under tab content. And then you can click on the drop down under icon and select your icon. And then now you can see that we have our first tab. I'm going to add in another block, click collapsible tab, and I'm going to title this one warranty. I'm going to copy and paste the warranty information into the content tab and then select my icon. I've done the same thing for shipping as well and now you can see I have three tabs. You can also attach information from your pages. So for example, if I wanted to add in my return policy, I could add another collapsible tab and click select page. Select my return policy page and then click select. Change your heading and your icon and then it looks like this. Since I've now put all of this information into tabs, I can get rid of all this extra text in my product description. So I'm going to save what I've done, then click exit, click products, and click on my product. Now I'm going to highlight all the information that I've put into my tabs and delete it. To further polish it off, I'm going to bullet point all of my product highlights, and then this is our finished product. If you need any help, leave a comment and I will do my best to help you. And if this video helped you, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.